Hi, I'm Justin Merrill. I want to take a minute to introduce myself to uh, my fellow libertarians. If you attend conferences, there's a good chance we've probably met in person, but um, I'm just going to assume that most people don't know who I am. So uh, I'm a financial advisor. I'm also a, a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I got out in 2005. I'm currently a full-time uh, student, and in addition to uh, you know being a financial advisor, and uh, I I'm a 28-year-old college student, undergraduate, because uh, I was in the Marine Corps, and then I got married. And my wife is Japanese, and we ran into immigration problems. She ran into immigration problems and could not live in the States for the first five years of our marriage. So uh, I had to live in Japan, and uh, I, I worked on a military base doing accounting for the government. So I have much more experience with the military and the federal government than I, than I would like to, but it, it really just uh, gives me that much more ammunition against, against the government. So I had to delay my educational goals, and that's why uh, that's why I'm a 28-year-old undergrad. So uh, I'm I'm the founder of Emergent Society. Emergent Society is is a think tank that I'm starting uh, that creates a community for libertarians and uh, libertarian free market academics and specialists in in their real real real-world fields to uh, share their knowledge and research in their areas of expertise and allow them to network and uh, educate the public through media and conferences. So I think of Emergent Society as uh, the Mont Pelerin Society meets Foundation for Economic Education, or FEE. Uh, my personal areas of expertise are money, banking and financial markets uh, but outside of economics I also take a strong interest in foreign policy and immigration since I have experience in these fields and uh, the issues are uh, I, I find to be fundamentally uh, it, moral issues for peace and the free flow of uh, goods capital and people so the, these are important to me. Uh, I blog at emergentsociety.org, but my site is down for maintenance. I'll be relaunching it soon. Uh, I, I had a pretty steady blog um, going for about a year or so, but I'll, uh, I'll get all the archives up when I relaunch the site so you guys can check out the stuff I've written in the past. Uh, what kind of political views do I hold? What kind of libertarian am I? I'm an anarcho-capitalist. I've been a self-identified libertarian since 2000. I came into libertarianism in a, a unique way. Um, I did two college research papers on uh, prohibition and the war on drugs. And I came to the, realize that even if... Um, the intentions are pure. The government creates unintended consequences when they're trying to mold the behavior of society. So I didn't come into libertarianism through the normal routes like reading Atlas Shrugged or seeing Ron Paul speak. Uh, in fact, the year I started questioning the role and efficacy of government, I didn't even know there existed uh, libertarianism until I took a philosophy class. And uh, at, at, the, at the age of 17, having to discuss it, it was a really interesting class because it went over all of the different philosophies and it really made you, you know, challenge your worldview and, and compare the different ways. So, for example, I, I found utilitarianism to be uh, attractive at first, like for, you know, when it, it was first introduced to me, because I, I thought it was inherently um, uh, 
you know, altruistic and thought that, well, if everyone just behaved utilitarian, the world would be a much better place. But then I came to realize, I mean, even as a 17-year-old, that, well, that's not very realistic because I don't know what the best way to serve other people is. So, you know, it's kind of like applying the golden rule, but you don't really know how to achieve those ends through utilitarianism you know and now I would know that there's uh, not only an incentive problem but also a knowledge problem Hayekian knowledge problem with uh, utilitarianism right you you can't uh, calculate utility interpersonally so um, I I came into libertarianism through a philosophy class and uh, started researching that way And that was 12 years ago. Uh, Let's see. The most influential book I've read uh, was Human Action. I read quite a few years ago. Uh, I decided that if I was going to uh, assess Austrian economics, I should go straight to the source. I normally wouldn't recommend uh, going straight into... Uh, human action, diving head first, but it, it worked for me, and uh, it made sense. I'd already taken economics courses and learned Keynesianism, and it, it didn't make sense at the time, And uh, I, but you just weren't given an alternative, right? So in a mainstream macro course, and uh, I've, you know, since taken many economics classes, and probably have driven many of my teachers nuts now that I know a lot more of how to (laughs) question Keynesianism but uh, I transitioned from a constitutionalist minarchist to an anarchist after reading Rothbard's Ethics of Liberty and For New Liberty around 2008 I love Rothbard as a historian, philosopher and economist in general But I'm not a fan of his points of of views on money and banking. His ethical and economic arguments against uh, fractional reserve banking are nonsense. I find this disappointing because he is otherwise uh, quite sound in his arguments. Uh, So I'm a free banker, is what I call myself. Despite being a voluntarist for deontological ethical reasons, you know, that I, I think it's moral to, uh, you know, the non-aggression principle and, you know, libertarianism, I think, is, is a moral philosophy. But I prefer to argue from utilitarian grounds uh, because they tend to be more convincing. Empirical arguments that liberty is good are more damning to, uh, say, progressives than moral ones. Right? They're going to argue that only we care about the poor. You libertarians are selfish. Uh, but if, if we can prove that, no, your means don't achieve your ends, that really uh, you know, a free society takes better care of the poor than uh, a collectivist one or a centrally planned one, you know, then there's almost no objection that can occur uh, so I, I prefer to argue on, on uh, empirical utilitarian grounds, even though I am uh, hardcore Rothbardian <laughs> as far as uh, philosophy goes. So what to expect in the future from, from me? What will I produce? Uh, videos and blogs. Uh, I'm writing. I'm almost finished with a critique of Paul Krugman's End This Depression Now. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it. I'm, then I'll try to decide of how to publish it. It's, it's a short, you know, like 40-page uh, critique. So it's not a full book. I, I don't know exactly which route, if I'll self-publish or if I'll go maybe through like laissez-faire books or something. I don't know. Um, I'm uh, also finishing up a reply to Philip Bagus and David Howden's critique of fractional reserve banking. 
Uh, that'll get published in a, an academic journal, probably the Review of Austrian Economics or the uh, Quarterly Journal. And after that, I'll be doing a lecture series on the Euro and the Euro crisis, the history and, and the causes and possible solutions. And i uh, also do a, a lecture on how the welfare state uh, was caused by the warfare state. I was an intern at the Independent Institute a year ago, and uh, I did a research project on that. So I think I'd love to share my research with my fellow libertarians. It's, it's very uh, Robert Higgsian, um, but I do some, some, you know, I did some research with uh, Dr. Ivan Eland of the Independent Institute, and so it was a lot of fun, very informative, read a lot, it really showed how uh, both the social programs and the government's control of money and banking really goes back to war and how the, uh, the, the progressive control over, over those areas was really just to finance uh, big government. You know, it's not a lot of people think that, oh, we need to regulate the, the, mar the uh, financial markets because they're unstable and we need government regulations. But they're unstable because of, you know, the, uh, the regulations that were put in place to create seniorage. So I, anyways, I'll save that for another video. I'm, I'm uh, rambling off topic now. So I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, Emergent Society. My name is Justin Merrill. Uh, I'll talk to you later.